Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your kettlebell only workout. What you're going to need is a kettlebell, but you're also going to need a mat because we will be coming down to the ground at certain points during this workout. You're also going to need something to hydrate with. So grab those three things. My kettlebell is 20 pounds. We're going to be doing a lot of unilateral movements. Mine is so heavy. So if you have a kettlebell, it's uh, a lot of these exercises are going to feel a little bit more challenging than with a dumbbell. Why? Because that kettlebell lengthens your lever, which is one way to increase the intensity. So keep that in mind when you choose your kettlebell selection today. This is actually the only one I have, so we're going to make it work. We're going to begin with a body weight warm up. So we're going to start just taking it out and in. Arms go over, under. We have 10 total, five each side. Let's get going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Coming up next, we have squats, four, three, two, one. Feet go wide, bring it down, sit back in that chair, drive through the heels to bring it up. 10 total. That was one, two. Exhale on the way up. Halfway through, five more. Last five, four, three. Then we hit reverse lunges, two, one. Reverse lunges, just alternate one at a time. Drive through that heel, knee behind the toe. Hips stay nice and level. Five more. Last five, four, three. Then we go to your mat two and one all right come to your mat in a quadruple position we're going to bring it out to a modified plate so start to walk the hands out until you have one nice long line from the top of the head to the backs of the knees <laughs> exhale to engage the abdominals keep the hips level as we tap it one at a time just shoulder taps for 10 let's go for 10 nine eight seven six five four three two and one nice work hips go back little child's pose we're going to repeat that one more round before we hit that kettlebell first kettlebell circuit of the day all right come back to that quadruple position lift the knees just walk it on in we're starting from the top 10 total out and in we go in three two one last five four three two one squat it out for ten Take your time with these. Maybe reduce the range of motion to start. Make sure our knees are not caving in. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Reverse lunges. Ten total for ten. We can always stand on those railroad tracks instead of that balance beam. That'll make reverse lunges a little bit more doable. Drive through the heel, five more. Last five. Four, three, then we hit those shoulder taps. Two, and one. All right, come down to your mat, quadruple position, however you wanna get there. Big, deep inhales, we walk the hands forward. Exhale, engage the abdominals, shoulders over the wrist. Tap it, but keep the hips square. We go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hips go back, child's pose. Big deep breath. If you need a drink, go ahead and grab it. We have five blocks today. We'll go through each block two times before moving on to the next. We'll have a set rep count at a, a unilateral movement, meaning one side of the body, We'll equal it out before we hit a time circuit. So we have a rep count on each side, time circuit, and then we'll grab a drink of water after every single time circuit. We're gonna start with a B stance RDL. So if you have a weaker side, I recommend doing that weaker side first and then matching it to your stronger side. So I'm gonna bring the left leg forward, right leg goes back. We're coming into a B stance RDL. So about 80% of the weight is in this left heel. 20 is in this back foot. We're mainly going to feel this along the back of the left hamstring, left glute. So we bring it down, 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 nice and slow. Now we're only taking it mid-level. We're not touching the ground here. After that, we have one low row and then we drive through the heel to stand. So it's hamstrings, glutes, mid to upper back, drive through the heel to bring it up. 15, 15, then we'll hit a bilateral movement. Let's go in three, two, 
One, slow and controlled on the way down. Row it up, palm bases in, drive through the heel. So I'm switching from a pronated grip, and then as I row it up, switching to a neutral grip, palm faces the left side of the room. Go at your own pace. Constant tension in that left hamstring, left glute, mid to upper back, nice work. Exhale to drive it up. Seven more, 15 total. Here's our last, five, four, three, two, last one. Nice work. Now we have to do the other, other, other side. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Set your base first. So right foot forward, left foot back, square off the hips, heavy in this right heel, 80% here, 20% here, 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 targeting this and the left side of the back. Let's go. Slow and controlled on the way down. Row it up, drive through the heel to bring it up. Inhale. Exhale, drive it up, good. Right glute, right hamstring, left mid to upper back. Our core does a lot of work on these unilateral single-sided movements to help keep those hips nice and stable. So keep the abs tight. Over halfway through. Final five reps, make them perfect. Three more. Keep looking down at the ground. Two. Last one. Nice work. Now we're going on to our time circuit. So go ahead, face me. We have bilateral kettlebell hip hinge swings after this. We'll get a little recovery at 60 seconds total. We bring it down, big squeeze the glutes. We shouldn't feel this in the shoulders. We should mainly feel this in your glutes and in your hamstrings. Here's the side view. We hinge from the hips, big drive forward, squeeze the glutes, but make sure you're keeping a neutral low back and not thrusting it forward. All right, I'm gonna face you. 60 seconds in three, two, one. Hips are going back. Squeeze those glutes. Once we feel the weight at the top, we're already starting to hinge back. Big stretch on those hamstrings, on the in range motion there, good. Think of a hip hinge motion. So more of a deadlift like those RDLs we were just doing, than a squat. Halfway. It's burning. If it's not burning by now, we can go heavier. Final five, four, three, two, and whew, one. All right, halfway through with block one, grab your drink. All right, we're doing that one more time, then we move on to a new block. So RDLs, glutes, hamstrings, mid to upper back, on the side that has the kettlebell, keep your hips square, keep the abs tight. Let's go ahead, get into position, left foot forward, right foot back, dumbbell in, dumbbell in the right hand, pronated, and we're gonna rotate it as we row up. All right, whew, here we go, 15 total, at your own pace, let's go.
Nice work. Make sure we're keeping that low back nice and neutral. No thrusting forward at the top, but we can squeeze the glutes. Come on, five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one on this side. Let's hit the other. We're getting right into it. Right foot forward. Ooh, left foot back. 80, 20. Square off the hips. Abs stay tight. Let's go. Final five, last five, make them perfect, you got it. Four, drive through that heel, three, two, last one. Nice work. All right, bilateral kettlebell swings. I'll give you a different view this go around. Make sure that low back stays neutral, targeting hamstrings and glutes. Let's go. 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. So squeeze those glutes at the top, but make sure we're keeping a neutral low back. None of that. Hips are going back. Big stretch in those glutes. And then engage, or excuse me, big stretch in those hamstrings, really engaging the glutes as we drive up. Halfway through. Drive through both heels. About 15 more seconds. Lost my glasses. Can't see. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right. <laughs> Grab that drink of water. We're on to a new block after this. All right, let's make sure we have the right weight selection. So that block should have felt pretty challenging. We probably had maybe one to two reps left in the tank on those RDLs. By the time we hit those bilaterals, we were just hoping it was gonna be over pretty soon. So if that was super easy, we need to increase the load. So if you don't have a heavier kettlebell, grab a heavier dumbbell. Remember, uh, kettlebells are a little bit more challenging just because your lever is lengthened. So I could not do 20 pound bicep curl with a kettlebell, but I could with a bicep curl. Enough of me talking, let's get on to block two. Block two, we have unilateral movement. Curtsy lunge, squat with upright rope. So we're going to start, right hand has your kettlebell down to the side, right leg goes back, we curtsy lunge, we bring it out to a squat, we squat with upright row, control it down. So it's legs, we'll hit quads, hamstrings, glutes, with the lunges and the squats, and then you're dealt with the upright row. 15 on each side, then we go, Upright row, bilateral, both arms. 15 total. Let's go in three, two, and one. Let's go. One curtsy lunge, hold it low. Squat, drive it up, control, control, good. Curtsy lunge, squat it low, drive it up, control it down. Curtsy lunge, stay low. Drive through both heels, right arm goes up, control it down. Kettlebell, tight to the body. Ten more. Five 
Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice, all right. Other side. Let's go. Curtsy lunge, squat, upright row. You know what to do. Let's get to work. One side may feel more challenging than the other. Let's equal it out. Heavy in this heel, heavy in both heels. Explode with power. Good, 10 more. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, now we're gonna hit that upper body. Upright row, bilateral, both arms, 60 seconds. And three, two, one. Kettlebell tight. Elbows flare out. We should feel this. We should feel this in the entire head of the delt. Mainly rear delt. So really pause right there. Control it down. We're in tight. Again, find a tempo that you can maintain. You don't have to go with me, but don't rush through it either. Final 20 seconds. Last 10. Five, four, three. Let's do one more rep and one. Nice work. Grab that drink. I need it. If you don't need it, just chill for one second because we're going to get going again. We have that block one more time. Do your weaker side first if you have one. If not, do whatever side you want. Curtsy lunge, hold it low, squat, squat with upright row. The squat and upright row is kind of one fluid movement. We're using the legs to drive it up, but I really want you to control that eccentric phase on the way down. All right, 15 total, let's go. Explode it up. Use the legs to get that kettlebell up. Control it down though, right? Power with the legs. Control, control, control. Hold it low, drive through the heels, control it down. Nice work. Core is working right here. Keep those hips level. Seven more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Let's go right into that other side. If you need to hit pause, we go in three, two, and one. Drive through both heels, control it down. Kettlebell is in tight to the body. Nice work.
10 more. Over halfway through. Don't tilt that way. You got it. Stay upright. Final five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice work. All right, bilateral, upright rows. Five seconds we go. One minute on. We get a break after this. Three, two, one. Control it. You may want to slight lean forward. That's optional. Elbows flare out to the side. Good. Try to keep the traps out of this even as we rise it up. So make sure we're not doing this number. Traps stay down. Reduce the range of motion if needed. Over halfway. I'm covered in my own sweat, drip in a puddle down below. Let's keep fighting through this. You got this. 15 seconds. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, grab that drink of water. Well deserved. Next block is our final block on our feet. Then we get to come to the mat. All right, block three, probably our most challenging block yet. We're going to a cling to press to a front lunge. Front lunges are super challenging as an option. Instead of a front lunge, do a reverse lunge instead. The front lunge is going to hit the quad a little bit more. All right, so cling to press, feet go wide. We use the lower body to get that kettlebell above the shoulder neutral grip. From here, we use the lower body again to drive it all the way overhead. Now from here, our weight is in the right hand. Left foot is coming forward into that front lunge. Really gotta keep the abs tight, core is tight as we bring it right back up and then down. Now we're only going 10 each side. Make sure you don't let your wrist flop. So keep it nice and upright or else your wrist may have some discomfort after this workout. So stay strong. Don't let it do that with the kettlebell. If needed, lighten the load. So I'm going to turn this way to give you a different view. I have the kettlebell in my right hand and then my left foot will be going forward for the uh, front lunge. You can always take it back for a reverse lunge if that feels better on your knees. Any knee issues, I highly recommend reverse lunge or just skipping the lunge altogether. Here we go, 10 each side. Let's get to work. Drive through the legs, bring it right over the shoulder. Drive through the legs again, bring it overhead. Left foot comes forward, knee stays behind the toe. Drive it up, control it down. That was one. Core stays tight, don't let the belly dip forward. Halfway. Two more. Keep that wrist neutral. Last one. Nice work. All right, <laughs> let's hit that other side. Okay, here we go. Give you a different view on this one. We go in three, two, and one. Drive through the heels, 
Neutral grip, drive again, explode. Opposite leg goes forward. Core is tight, drive through the heel, control, and down. Halfway through. Final rep. All right, next up, bilateral, 60 seconds. Upper body only. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep extension. Then we'll bring it down. We'll get a full recovery after this. Woo. Grab that dumbbell. We go in three, two, and one. Bicep curl, shoulder press, elbows in tight as we hit the triceps, bring it down, biceps on the e-center, good. Halfway. Final five, four, three, two, and control it down. Oh, nice work. <laughs> Grab that drink of water. These are brand new glasses. Still can't get them to stay. All right, we have that one more time before we get to come to the mat. Now that was so heavy that I probably had maybe one quality rep left in the tank. So if you didn't hit the rep count, that's okay. Just do what you can, match the other side, do the bilateral with me again. This is probably the most challenging block of the whole workout. So let's do it. Clean to press, front lunge. Here we go. At my right side, right hand has that kettlebell. Let's go in three, two, and one. 10 total at your own pace. Left leg goes forward. Core is tight to stabilize the hips. Don't let them tilt. Halfway through, we got it. Five more. <sighs> Final two, make them perfect on this side. Last one. Control it down. We'll give ourselves about like 10 seconds to rest. 
before we hit that other side, that one was challenging. Shake it out. Slow the breath down. All right, here we go. Get your minds right. Sit on the other side. Bilateral. And then we come to the mat. Let's go. Clean to press. Front lunge. Three, two, and one. Got to match it now. Right foot forward. Halfway, five more. Neutral back, don't let it dip forward. Easy to do. Three more, we got it. Last one. Control it and bring it down. All right, 10 seconds, shake it out. We're about to hit that bilateral. Bicep curl, shoulder press, triceps. We get a water break after this. Grab that kettlebell. We go, three, two, and one. not about how many reps we can get in, but how many quality reps we can do. So slow down the tempo if needed. Halfway through, 30 more seconds, we got this. I know 15. Keep that lower body still. Last five, four, three. Let's do one more full rep and one. Ooh, set that dumbbell down. Grab that drink. Then we're coming back on your mat. We get to lie down now. That doesn't mean it's about to get easy though. All right, so we're going to come down to your mat now. We have a half get up right, left side, and then we have a bilateral neutral grip chest press coming your way. So the way that I'm about to do this half get up may not be the way that you're used to, but I want you to try it out. Let's do a body weight rep together before we grab this dumbbell. If you've never done it before, do a body weight with me. All right, so we're gonna start right hand up in the air. Right knee is bent, left leg is long, left hand is out to the side. So I'm gonna give you a different view. So right here, we're going to first move. We press our weight into this left hand, and then we use this left hand to help get us up. We're gonna target that oblique as well as the abs a little bit more. Control, control, control on the way down. So the first move, shift the body weight into this left hand. You're using this left hand to help get you up. <sighs> control it on the way down. So this knee that is bent, that side has the kettlebell. Do this with body weight as a modification because it's challenging on its own. It goes 10, 10, 60 seconds of a neutral grip chest press. Let's go. Three, two, and one. The kettlebell really fires it up. Control it on the way down. Don't just fling it down. Control, control, control TVA is really working on the way down. So exhale halfway through. Press into the left hand to help get you up. Control it on the way down. 
So we're really working the transverse rectus abdominals as well as the internal and external oblique on that left side. Three more. Keep that wrist neutral. Two. And last three, two, and one. Huh. All right, let's take it to that other side. Let's do a body weight rep on the other side first. So right hand goes out to the side, right leg is straight, left knee is bent, left hand goes up. First move is shifting the weight into the right hand. Guide yourself up, reach that dumbbell towards the top. Big deep exhale, control it on the way down. It should burn on that eccentric base. Let's do one more time. Inhale up, exhale, control it down. Now, if you've never done this before, you may wanna do it with body weight only. Keep your wrist as neutral as possible. None of this. Uh, lighten the load if needed, do a dumbbell. That's cool. Here we go, 10 total. And three, two, and one. Last five, four, three, use that right hand to help get you up, two, and three, two, and one. All right. Here we go, we have a neutral grip chest press. I'm grabbing the, uh, the kettlebell like so towards the low end of the ball. Here we go. Elbows in tight, we're bringing that uh, kettlebell right below the chest, right by the sternum. We press it up, elbows in tight. Find a pace you can maintain, three, two, and one. It is starting to burn. We are halfway through. Final 10. Last three, two, and one. All right, set that dumbbell down. Now, if you had any wrist discomfort at all with that half get up, your kettlebell may be too heavy. I'd rather you just do body weight than hate me tomorrow because your wrist hurt, all right? So lighten the load if that was the case. If not, we're going to continue on. We had that one more round. Half get up, half get up. Ooh, neutral grip chest press. All right, the side that has that kettlebell, that knee is bent. Use the opposing hand to help guide yourself up and down. All right, so shift the weight into the left hand. <laughs> there we go. This one's tough. In three, two, and one. At your own pace. I just don't want you flopping down. Control it on the way down. <sighs> on the way down, the kettlebell stacked over the shoulder. Halfway, five more. Last two. And last one, control it on the way down. All right, we're going to the other side. Ooh, all right, here we go. Make sure you have that kettlebell and a grip that feels good to you. You can do a variety of different grips right here. Just keep the wrist nice and neutral. 
All right, left knee is bent, left hand has that dumbbell, press into the right hand to go up. Three, two, and one, 10 total. This side definitely feels more challenging for me, but we gotta match those sides. Final three. Two. Last one. Three, two, and one. Okay, bilateral. Neutral grip, chest press. We go, elbows in tight in three, two, and one. Let's go. Let's control it on the way down. We're gonna feel it in your chest, but we're also gonna feel it in those triceps as well. We're halfway. <sighs> Last four, three, two, and one. Put that kettlebell down. All right, let's grab that drink of water and then we have one final block, then we're done. All right, our final block will be bilateral with the upper body, but unilateral with the lower body. So right, we'll start with the left leg long, right leg will go in and out. We're gonna target your lat muscles and your uh, abdominals. So we have that kettlebell all the way back. We bring it down three, two, one. And then as we bring it in, just like so. So big squeeze the abs, control it on the way down. Now you can leave the head on the ground if you want, or you can add that little challenge by bringing it in. That is up to you. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. We go in three, two, and one. Lat muscles, abdominals, good. Just the right leg, but both arms. Inhale long, exhale in. Try to keep the low back pressing into the mat. So you can have a slight bend in that left knee if needed. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, all right. We're going to that other side. Make sure you don't bend the elbows any more than what we start with, because that'll. Uh, if you do, you'll feel it more in the triceps rather than your lats. Let's get to work. Last. Three, two, and one. All right, we have 60 seconds of a crunch, of a weighted crunch, so we're gonna lie that dumbbell on our chest. You can support it with the hands. Now, if this is too much on your neck, what I want you to do, get rid of the kettlebell altogether, just do body weight. It'll be, it'll be just as challenging. All right, so I'm gonna lay my uh, kettlebell just like so. Again, any discomfort, Body weight only. We go in three, two, and one. Inhale down, exhale, hollow it out. Lead with the abdominals, not the neck.
Again, any discomfort in your neck, get rid of the kettlebell, hands go behind the head. Less than 20 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, oh, nice work. Roll out those wrists, any discomfort. Remember, you can, you can go to your dumbbells if you want. Kettlebell lengthens that lever. It's gonna strengthen your wrist. So any, any wrist discomfort, this kettlebell may not be for you. Grab a dumbbell instead. It'll still be a good workout with it, with a dumbbell. You, you will just have a different grip. All right, final round. Let's get after it. 10-10, bilateral. We go in three, two, and one. Lots and abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, directly into the other side for a tip. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five more, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. All right, weighted crunches. There's two ways to do this. You can do it chin, you know, you have that ball underneath the chin, you're looking up and down. Now if that causes you some discomfort in your neck, you may wanna roll it in and just look forward and keep crunching. Two schools of thoughts on that. I <laughs> which way works better for you. I'm into this school of thought, looking straight forward, not having my that ball underneath my chin, causes less neck discomfort, feeling my core a little bit more. Get rid of the kettlebell altogether. We go in three, two, and one. Hollow it out as you exhale. Find a pace that works for you. Any discomfort in your neck, get rid of the kettlebell and we are right here instead. Over halfway through. Last five, four, three, two. Let's hold it at the top for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And we are done. Nice work. All right. Bodies long, big deep inhale. As you exhale, tug the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself big circles with the knees, massaging the low back. Let's reverse those circles, go the other way. Ooh, nice work. All right, let's grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings. Give yourself a few rolls up. One more roll, then come all the way up. Cross at the ankles, shift the upper body forward. Now we're going to go into a wrist uh, stretch. So bring the fingertips to point towards the quad, shift the upper body forward, big deep inhale. As we exhale, bring it on back. Should feel a big stretch on the back of the wrists. If you're on your phone a lot or on the computer, this is gonna be a good stress for you. We'll be here for about 20 more seconds. On the next inhale, shift the upper body forward and do the wrist, let's shake it out. Now we're gonna come into puppy pose, hitting those lats. So keep the hips over the knees, start to walk the hands out when we can walk the no more. Big deep inhale, release the chest towards the mat, head rests on the mat as well. We should feel it right where we just hit on those lat muscles. Oh. We're gonna be here for about 20 seconds as well. 
person on you. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out. On the next inhale, frame the face with both hands. Press off into a tabletop position. Big, big deep inhale. Curl the toes as we exhale. Shoot those hips up and back. Downward facing dog, but just start to pedal out the heels right and left. Feeling it along the calves and along the hamstrings. Both heels reach towards the mat. Drive the chest a little closer towards the quads to intensify the stretch. As we inhale, look up at the hands and then walk the feet forward. Keep this position, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and give yourself a gentle sway. Left and right for ragdoll pose. Yes is a nose with the head, release any tension in the neck. Let that head grow nice and heavy. 10 more seconds here. Bring all swing to a complete stop. Heel to the feet together on the inhale. As we exhale, drive through the heels, roll up one vertebrae at a time, and then roll the shoulders back. All right, let's hit the shoulders. So come to a wall, or you can do one of these numbers, but if you have a wall, grab it. Make a T with the arms, big deep inhale. As you exhale, release left arm, and then start to just take a slow turn towards the left until you feel big stretch along that shoulder and your chest. So the front of the shoulder, in the front of the delt is where we should be feeling it. Go into this very, very, very slow. You could do this on the ground as well. Inhale, come out of it very slowly. Release right arm. Inhale, left arm up. As we exhale, start to turn towards the right. And then just keep turning very slowly until you find that nice stretch. It should never hurt or be painful, but you should feel, it should maybe feel a little bit uncomfortable, but then it should dissipate. So never go past your personal range of motion. Everyone's a little bit different. As we inhale, come back towards that wall. Let's hit your glutes. So make sure you have a wall handy for this one coming into a standing figure four. Shift the weight into the right foot, left ankle crosses over the left quad, draw the left knee back, big deep inhale. As we exhale, sink it down. You can use this hand to give yourself a deeper stretch. Oh, we should feel it along that left hip, left glute. Inhale up, let's switch sides. Standing figure four. All right, y'all, awesome work today. That was super challenging. If it wasn't, I recommend a heavier weight. And guess what? You could do this with one dumbbell as well. Your grip may just be a little bit different. Uh, awesome work today. You rock, keep up the amazing work. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of your day.